Hello viewers, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depends on where you are watching from. Welcome to my channel, Ninja in Germany. If this is your first time on this channel, please kindly like, comment, and subscribe to grow this channel for me to be able to bring you more trending news. Now, let's get into today's discussion. Today, we have Asi Wajibola Ahmed Tinubu trending on the news. And guess what, guys? Asi Wajibola Ahmed Tinubu has commended the state governors for their joint effort to appeal against the deadline date by the federal government and the Central Bank of Nigeria for the withdrawal of the old Naira notes from the public, allowing only the use of the new Naira notes. Ah, oh, wow. What kind of country is this? This one now, they let you know, say, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, they congratulate those APC governors, the WNBC. They won't try to sue the federal government because of, say, they want to redo new notes just to make sure, say, there will be peaceful and fair election. But why any reasonable person who won't fight against the federal government because of good thing they won't try to do? Maybe you not see them. This is not going well. This is not a good sign at all. This means that all the politicians and these APC governors, they are ready to do anything to make sure they win this election by all costs. They don't care how many people die. They don't care if people will be manipulated or be employed as thugs because they, their children, they are all in abroad. So you guys should be very sensible. Think well before you act. All right, guys, let's move on. The appeal by the APC governors and politicians all over the country has made the Supreme Court of Nigeria to suspend the deadline date for February 10, 2023 and has ruled that banks should keep accepting and disbursing old Naira notes. You just imagine that APC governor just go meet the tried, uh, 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 Supreme Court, try to sue with the federal government over the notes and now the supreme court has intervened into the issue and uh, has now uh, ordered the federal government to extend the dates beyond february 10th man this is something else the supreme court has even urged the masses and other business organizations to accept and spend ordinary bills that have been redesigned and insisted that the old naira notes will coexist with the new ones and even after the election in February 25th, 2023. Man, what is this about? That means all the money and the suffering people have been suffer suffering in the country is, is still is of no use because what people have been suffering because there is no cash and the purpose of Buhari and the CBN to do this is in vain. My people, with this new ruling by the Supreme Court of Nigeria, that means all the efforts of President Muhammadu Buhari to make sure that the presidential election on February 25th, 2023 is peaceful and fair is in the gutter already because he made the CBN to redesign the Naira notes to stop bad politicians that have buyed up a lot of billions at home to buy poor citizens, PVCs and the mobilization of thugs and rigging of the elections. Man, this is not good. I know that the situation in the country right now is very hard. With cash scarcity coupled with the forest scarcity, it's really making life difficult at the moment for the masses. But what President Muhammadu Buhari, in conjunction with the CBN governor, planned to achieve with this redesignation of the Naira notes was a good move. Anyone that really have the best interests of the country at heart would know this. Just watch and listen to this short video on how APC governors were threatening to sue the federal government if the deadline date is not extended. They are so desperate. Come on, it's so obvious that desperate. But anyways, this is just my humble opinion. Watch and see for yourself. The pandemonium over the February 10th deadline for the validity of three ordinary notes assumed another dimension on Monday as five political parties and three state governments began, uh, began legal battles. Awas Kaduna Kogi and Zamfara governments dragged the federal government before the court, seeking an extension to the February 10th deadline. The CBN had on October the 26, 2022, announced its plan to redesign the three banknotes. President Muhammad Buhari subsequently unveiled the redesigned 200 naira, 500 naira, and 1,000 naira notes on November the 23rd, 2022. The while the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has hailed the governors of the 36 states 
or standing on the side of the citizens over the central bank's new NARA and cashless policies that have subjected the masses to pains. According to Ashua Jitunobu, the governors, especially the APC governors, who instituted the suit against the CBN and federal government at the Supreme Court, acted well on behalf of hapless Nigerians who have been made to bear the brunt of the poorly implemented NARA redesigned policy. The Supreme Court earlier today gave an interim injunction against the CBN and the federal government allowing the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes to remain legal tender beyond February the 10th deadline until... So guys, you heard it. Now, Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his cohort have succeeded in their already planned strategy for the February 25th, 2023 general election. They can now mobilize people and buy of voters' cards to influence their stats on the general poll. I am not against any presidential candidate that is running, but at least let's do something right in the right manner, not by bullying each other, taking federal government to the court just because you have people in high places or, or uh, ordering cash in banks because you you own people that owns banks anyway let's move forward and let's see well uh, the reaction from other nigerians that have vetted their anger and frustration on social media about this situation now let's take this on this one says this is the time Buhari should dis disobey a court order not all those ones he has been doing Okay, but DK, one of Enugu, I understand your pain. Anyways, let's move on to the next. And we have another one. This one says, so who, which time did the Supreme Court now choose for the deadline of the old currency as legal tender? Supreme Court will soon take the role of central bank. This judgment is not realistic. If you like, go and collect old currency as bribe in this election. It will remain in your hand forever. Now you know. <laughs> this one is ridiculous. Now let's take another one. And this one reads, Tinubu supporters are rejoicing because they know Tinubu can only win through buying votes. That says a whole lot. But I want to believe Nigerians are wiser than accepting peanut to vote for Tinubu. Now them like Sabi, if they let me, they collect peanut to, for four years of their life. That is a waste. Uh, it's only a pain that we all suffer it. Coming up next, and we have this one. It says, why is Western APC more concerned about the change of Naira politically? Even Northern APC doesn't panic. Buhari is a good president until he did this, which is one thing that made me concerned. Okay, commend his intelligence. If anyone has good intentions for Ninja, political or politics, why fighting this? So guys, I'll allow you to see the rest of the video where um, the APC, they are running their mouth, they are jubilating, they are celebrating, and that is not what we are after, all we are after right now. I urge all Nigerians to vote wisely, don't be used for toggery, don't sell your vote. If you sell your vote, it's another four years or maybe eight years. So this is all we can do to make sure there is a better Nigeria or not by selling your vote. This is a little contribution that we can give for our future children to inherit. Okay, see the rest of the video. There are a lot of more comments, but I will just post them here so that you can read for yourself. Thanks and ciao. The section 232, which is the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court, gives that court the power to hear disputes between the federal government and the state on any question of legal rights. Now, you have to ask yourself, what legal rights of a state government is involved? I read the affidavit of Aisha Diko in support of the application for injunction. And all she says is that it has caused hardship to the good people of Kaduna State. But with all due respect to her, that is a very nebulous proposition. You would have thought that the various kidnappings have caused more, kid more hardship to various state governments, but none of them invoked Section 232. More importantly, over the past eight years, the APC-led government has inflicted untold hardship on the good people of Nigeria. Not a single state government has gone to court to challenge the federal government, or to challenge President Buhari why he has decided to inflict such a mitigated hardship on the good people of Nigeria. Even perhaps more important is the fact that this uh, federal government 
and the CBA have completely devalued our Naira denominated assets. When they came to power, Naira was 200 to 1. At some point, it got to 800 to 1 against the dollar. And the result of that is that the bag of rice, which was 8,000 or thereabout, when this APC federal government and the state governments came to power, now sells for about 50,000 Naira. I did not see a single state governor that went to court to protect the good citizens of the state and the good citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from the hardship which they have been inflicting on all of us. It is even very cynical to see that of all the state governments, it is three APC state governments that have gone to the court to challenge the APC federal government.